got the timing cover on the 1994 Mazda B2300, basically a Ford Ranger, 1994. And when I ran it for about 10 to 15 seconds, it stopped actually right at top dead center. It's probably because it likes to stop where the lobes tend to uh, jump to. But anyways, there's the red mark right there. The top dead center mark. The red dot is on the crankshaft sprocket belt guard. And then here's the with the cover off, the rubber plug. You can see the the 94 here, the feature on the cam uh, sprocket to the inner cover line up. That's just an indicator in case you think it's jumped a uh, tooth on the belt on a worn car. That's good. You got the uh, new water pump on. Got a new lower hose. Put new radiator hoses on. This is a used alternator bracket because this one tended to get, I couldn't, a gesture would always get hung up, so I got another one off a junkyard. Got this I can take it on and off. Still don't have a harmonic balancer on yet. Uh, this cover here, held on by one screw down here. Right here, and then you got the one right here that goes into the adjuster. Right here. It's got a giant Phillips. It's only held on by two. That's the 94 cover. I think it goes back to 1989. They change it 1995. I was able to get this cover out without removing this bracket, which is the power steering bracket. I was able to fish this out of here and have that in another video. So I was able to do the cam, pull a cam sprocket and do the cam seal. I pulled the crankshaft hub and did the crankshaft seal. I didn't do the auxiliary shaft seal because this is kind of in the way. I could have fired it around and tried to fish it out of there. I've gotten an installer in here, but it's lined up with this. So I kind of just said to heck with it on that. So if it doesn't leak a long time, it's okay. If it leaks, you know, a little bit later, then I'm kind of goofed up. But there's the alternator put back on. There's a new heater hose. I did back flush this. I went back and forth. Got some crap out of the heater heater uh, core. This hooks up to the uh, thermostat outlet. That's a temperature sensor right there. Those two go to a firewall. This one comes from the water pump. This is new water pump uh, outlet housing. My other one was just about rusted through. It was not cheap, but it goes into here. That one goes to one of the heater cord, and that's the goes to the upper radiator hose. The cover just kind of snaps onto the back part of the cover. Got to put the harmonic balancer on, and then the adjuster still. Uh, put this pulley on. That's a fixed pulley. This is the one that's movable for the tension. This particular truck has got uh, air conditioning, it's got power steering, and it's got, you know, of course, alternator. It's a little bit more work because you got this junk that's in the way to take the timing belt off. But I was able to get this cover off without farting around to take this cover bracket off. I was kind of scared to do that. I undid the uh, AC, kind of moved it out of the way, but I didn't undo this bracket. And another video, a guy's got one where he's going under there, the screws, to get the bracket. I 